everyone to Quaker Chef, the Quaker community's finest cooking show to find the next culinary master. This year, it's bigger than ever, with the best contestants we've ever had and a grand total prize of $25. Oh, wow. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jen. We are looking for ramen right now. Uh -huh. Where will I find it? I am not sure. I can get over this. Can I take a bite? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, look at that. <laughs> scan the barcode on your Scan It or Scan It mobile device. 439. Place your item in the bagging area. He's losing time on the scan here. So each of you will pick a number out of a hat. I will then share the four mystery ingredients with you today, and the number you pick will be the order in which you choose your mystery ingredients. Uh, oh, medium low. Oh, medium low. Is oh my right god. Low? What is that, Jamie? I don't know, man. Most people Wait, be like kind of scared to cut without a cutting board. I'm a different breed. The pork is a little bit overcooked. Excuse me, Zach. Um, yeah, and so now we will travel to the local supermarket to buy ingredients. Uh, you will each have 45 minutes to cook whatever you need. 45? <laughs> and a $30 budget. Whatever, for every dollar that you do not use is a minute added on to your time. So the four of you will likely each have different times. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just gonna get what comes to the heart, you know? Mm -hmm. Does that come to the heart? I'm ready to see what he does here. <laughs> oh. Each item must be placed in the- I gotta say on the first look, this is one of my favorite presentations so far. Mm -hmm. I really like the layout of the plate. Uh what chips would go good with God damn! <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are you <laughs> Mariachi bands, let me put you on it. You take pork, you cut it, you sear it with some Cajun seasoning. Could not be more simple and yet more delicious at the same time. So I had to express some mommy and daddy in this meal right here. And I hope that mommy and daddy goes through to the judges today. Avocado is obviously like a very versatile ingredient. You can use it for breakfast. You can put that in basically whatever you want. Uh, I'll beat that out. It's alright, it's yeah. alright, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you said presentation was key. <laughs> but I've put the pork over the rice. It's a taste of great simplicity. It's a breakfast burrito. I'm honestly excited. Like, whether or not I win, I had a good time cooking with my friends today. I went to the grocery store. Like, I feel like we should do this more often, just spending time with people I like. I think I killed it, honestly. So, we got two different kinds of ramen. We even got a heart under there because I know these chefs are gonna love it. An idiot sandwich. An idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Chef Ramsay. <laughs> if I was going for this, that's exactly what This is sausage with caramelized onions and pepper. You know, I don't have the words to describe this dish. Zach, you know Eric has rice in his house? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit.